I've already shuffled and we'll be going through the present time. We'll take a look at how your person sees you, how you see them, and then we'll talk about why it's happening. Just remember the roles can be reversed. They see you could actually be you see them. So keep that in mind. So Taurus, I'm getting the energy. I'm getting a feel for a lot of you Taurus that that um, you're not trusting a situation. Could be with your person. Could be someone coming towards you that's new. Or it could be Yeah, maybe so some situation. Maybe, like I said, maybe it's a person that you're with. If this is not you, it could be the person you're dealing with. Or it could be just a situation. But let's get into the reading. And let's take a look and see what's going on. So for the present time, we got the Wheel of Fortune. And it's with the Ten of Swords. Yeah. So, the present time, that keep in mind, that would be for July. Now, this Wheel of Fortune, it's a card that reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times, bad times, it passes. So, if you suddenly find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective. Like everything else, it changes. So, live in the now. Count your blessings and just realize that much of life, life is really outside of your control. But even that's okay. Just roll with the changes and think positive. Now the Wheel of Fortune is paired with the Ten of Swords, which showing it's a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. When the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you, or trust that a situation is stable, well... It's a pretty clear answer of no. However, try to keep in mind whenever one door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust in the universe. So for the present time coming up in July, Ten of Swords and Will of Fortune. Your fortune is in your favor but you could miss out because you got trust issues. Or you or you feel like something has failed. You've been defeated here with all those swords stabbed in your back. And um, it could cause you to miss out on something very significant. Because like I said, the will of fortune is in your favor. It could be in a cycle where you're changing and you're you're going through transformation, but um, the will is turning. So we think we're going to need to get more clarity on these two cards by taking a look at the rest of the reading. So we'll come back to those two, but for now let's move on over and let's take a look at the person you're dealing with, how do they see you? They see you like the Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups. The Four of Pentacles, it's about holding on to things, people, maybe money or situations longer than is healthy or realistic. So, it's a sign that you must look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. So, you need to relax because the point, the you know, Four of Pentacles, it points to anxiety and fear. Could be about money and or maybe clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. The key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping like that, it doesn't bring security. Because if you can see the picture, this man, he's on all floors of his money, his coins. He's got his hands on his 
pinnacles and his feet on his pinnacles. And it looks like his eyes are about to pop out of his head. And his brain is about to explode. So there's some unhealthy clinging here. And this is how your person sees you. Well, one of the ways. They could see you being really resistant to change. You're holding on too firm. Now, it's clarified with the King of Cups. The King of, King of Cups, it's about a balanced male and feminine energy, which holds all positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. So, often it indicates a person, well, a man in your life. Usually, when it represents a live person, this person is very kind and loving. Um, he'll generally, he'll usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when this card appears in your reading. The King of Cups, like I said, it's about kindness and compassion. Plus, there's an element of true love in your life no matter what your situation is when this card appears. So nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. So this is also how they see you. They see you very warm, friendly, and tolerant towards them and this connection. Yeah. They see that, um, they, this person knows that you, you like them and that you, you want to offer them a cup of love. Or you want to be very loving towards them. But they see you're not doing it though. You're being resistant to change. You're not you're not opening up like you want to. You're not being um, as loving as you want to be because you're doing some unhealthy clinging. You're just Mm. You're not really letting go. You're holding on too tight to some, some situation. We'll have to get more clarity. Because <laughs> this these two cards are pretty vague. We'll get more clarity. We'll get the complete picture in a minute. So, for now we need to see what, what else is going on. So, you see your person like the Ten of Wands, and you also see them like the Ten of Cups. Okay, so the Ten of Wands. You could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You see how this man, he's walking forward, but he's about to fall backwards. You may need to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. If you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden you're carrying. It actually belongs to someone else. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself now and try not to take on too much. Yeah, so you see your person feeling like this is a difficult, <laughs> a difficult connection. Or you could see them thinking that there's hardship. It's a hard place right now in this connection with you. And it's with the Ten of Cups, though, which is beautiful. Oh, the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is a dream come true. Ten of Cups is what we all hope and wish for when it comes to love and relationships. Yeah, so you could see them like this, the Ten of Cups, which is an uplifting card to get in the reading. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature kind of way. Um, it's a good card. Really good card. It's not short of any cups. It's about happy family life, even if you're single, and to the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're concerned about the most, like your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. Also, you could be spiritually fulfilled. That's a part of the picture, too. 
Great card to see regardless of any question. So you also see them like this to the cups. It's a very romantic relationship. Yeah. This person, they could want to, uh, let's see, well, if the relationship is not formal or committed and you hope that it comes to that, take heart, it's coming. So you could see them as wanting to take this connection to the next level. You could see them as wanting to, well, you could see them as feeling that you're the end all be all. Ten of cups, like I said, no cups are missing there. It's the top. It's the very top, tops. And um, you see them in a very beautiful way, but you see them like um, a dream come true. But right now, it's a hard place in this connection with this Ten of Wands. There's some type of heavy burden going on. And that's how you see them. Now let's take a look at why it's happening. We got the Hermit card and the Moon card. But my speech is dragging. I'm sorry. It's after midnight, so I'm kind of like trying not to doze off while I'm reading. But anyway, we'll get through this reading. So, the Hermit card, it's a very spiritual card. It has to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's showing that you could be in the frame of mind where you need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a walk around the house so you can clear your head. It's also about trying to do really hard the right thing, but just make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Okay, so one of the reasons why it's happening is because you or your person needs to get rid of some baggage. Yep, clear the mind and let go of some baggage. Free yourself. Take some time alone. Now, it's with the moon card. Moon card, you're in a psychic, intuitive phase. So it's important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you don't know where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that it's possible all is not what it seems. If you feel you cannot trust someone or trust a situation, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may take longer than you would like for it to. So you might have to try to stay patient. So, Taurus, you you could make your person feel like you're wearing a mask and you're not really saying how you truly feel. Uh, they think there's deception. And if this is not you, it could be your person. Or you could feel this way about your person. Vice versa. But let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. Okay, so... Basically, like I said, Taurus, your person, they see you wanting to offer love, maybe romance, kindness, and compassion, but you're not doing it. You're sitting in one spot, and you're keeping your fingers, you're keeping your hands crossed, and you're just clinging to what makes you feel secure and opening up and being loving and romantic that does it doesn't look like you you're feeling you're feeling uh 
Like you want to do that now, but you want to do it, but you're not. You're holding back, put it that way. So that's how they see you and you see them feeling like this is hard. <laughs> this is a, It's hard dealing with you in this connection right now because they want Ten of Cups with you. You see them as a dream come true. And you could see them wanting commitment, marriage, a happy life with you. But you're not opening up. You're doing some unhealthy clinging. So, it looks like you got trust issues. That's why you got all those swords stabbed in your back. Uh, maybe from some past hurt. That Maybe that's how you were treated. So you're having a hard time uh, offering that cup of love to your person. You know that they want. They want to celebrate life with you and be with you. But you're making it difficult. They, they find it difficult to be with you when you're like this. When you're having trust issues. So... You looks like you might take some time to clear your mind, get rid of some baggage, and the will of fortune is, is there, so maybe you'll try to close out some cycles from the past so that you can free yourself from whatever from whatever is making you not extend an olive branch like the king of cups does so you need to release some things from the past so that you can open up to this person they know that you want to but you're not and you got trust issues and you just don't believe what people tell you here with the moon card you always think there's deception somebody's lying someone's playing games <laughs> So your person finds it difficult, really difficult to deal with you when you're like this. So it looks like you try to go into hermit mode and work on yourself. But your person, they really like you. They, Yeah, you see them wanting the Ten of Cups with you. They want the end all be all with you but it's hard to do if you can't get the other person to open up there and the other person has trust issues that's how they see you Taurus so clear your head get rid of some baggage release some grief from the past so that you can open up to this person yeah because I don't know you might have a good thing and uh, some people don't wait too long. So good luck with that. So Taurus, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link for personal readings below if you'd like to try one of those. So, Taurus, thank you for hanging in there with me for this reading. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. I'm about to pass out any minute now. But I appreciate you guys watching. Come back and join me for the next Taurus reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So I hope that 2020 is going well for all of you. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care. Take care. Take care.